Gonzalez has really embraced the intensity, the toughness that you've got to play with to be a Longhorn. Deep in the corner, buried by Gonzalez. Gonzalez, she's been hot. Oh, and that continues. Shaley Gonzalez, get it. Now joining us, one of the newest members of the Texas Longhorns this year, Shaley Gonzalez, two-time West Coast Conference Player of the Year. And as we said, now a Longhorn, the story goes that when you hit the portal, more than 80 schools reached out to you showing interest. What led you to come to Austin? Um, I mean, just the winning program, you know, um, what they hold in the Big 12 is was super important for me, looking at a school where I was going to, you know, grow as an athlete um, on the court, be pushed. I really wanted to get out of my comfort zone um, and be pushed as an athlete, and I feel like I've definitely grown there in that aspect and super grateful to be here. You come from a basketball family. Your parents played basketball, and you even have – a pretty impressive gym at your home where banners are hanging up for you and your siblings. I mean, we got to look at this thing. We saw the video and it seemed pretty legitimate here. You can, there's, I mean, this is nice. That's a, that's a pretty good option when you have to practice. You can't make it to the gym. I and mean, this is how, when was this built? So my parents and family, they moved in there like a year ago and mm -hmm. Um, they upgraded pretty much everything and then they built this gym in the back of it and my dad he ever since he was little he's he told himself that he wanted a gym in his backyard um, he grew up you know playing on literally dirt mm -hmm. um, so that was super important for him and he wanted to give his kids that and so I mean it's just been awesome to play in there and you know you walk out the house 10 steps and you're in the gym so that's amazing, and I yeah. know he sounds like a go-getter. That must be oh, where yeah. you get it from, because mm -hmm. I know even back in high school, you were known as a go-getter, a type A. You started off your own photography business, Sincerely Shaley, <laughs> when you were a teenager. Tell me about that. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just a hobby. I really like photography and videography, and so it was just something on the side to, you know, earn some money, so started that up, and um, haven't been doing it as much, obviously, because you get super busy with college and basketball and school, but... Yeah, I did that in high school. I also know you have a ton of followers on social media. To some people, they may be like, what's the big deal? But when you have hundreds of thousands of followers, mm -hmm. that can be big business. How have you parlayed that into NIL deals? Yeah, I mean, people just love following along, you know, the student athlete life, seeing the behind the scenes of things. Um, I was really into it my first couple years and then NIL passed, you know, I hit some big deals and I'm still doing NIL deals. Obviously it's become a little bit more stressful because you, you know, coming into, you know, school and basketball season gets stressful, but you know, it's been super fun doing the social media. It's just, you know, a, another side business I can make some money off of, so. Is that something you try to pass along to some of the younger players on the team? How to, not only, it's not just about basketball or sports anymore, you're also looking out for the business side as well to a degree. Yeah, I mean, like after basketball, like you don't have basketball your whole life, you know, so I definitely thought of it as a business side and, you know, I'm able to have my brand, grow my brand as a student athlete. And then once I'm done with basketball that, um, I'll be able to still have that and be able to make money from it. What are you looking to get into after basketball? I heard clothing is possibly an option. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I want to play pro, so um, do that. And then eventually I yeah, have my own business, whether it's like a fashion or clothing company um, and still do social media content. As far as basketball is concerned, I know back in 2019 you tore your ACL. Mm -hmm. That must have already been pretty traumatic to go through, but you decided to air out that process on YouTube, and at one point, one episode, you were in tears, and it seemed like a really cathartic thing as you showed the entire process from injury to rehab to surgery, and I know you got a lot of messages saying how inspirational that was to show everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, people love seeing that. Um, and they can look at that and just know that, you know, you can tear your ACL and the next year you can, you know, be conference player of the year. You can really do anything you put your mind to. Um, and that was a really tough time for me. And I just wanted to, you know, get that out there and show people that um, you can get through anything. And um, I mean, I've grown a lot from it. And, you know, I have other um, teammates who have gone through that and a teammate right now who's going through it. Um, so, you know, just looking after them and giving them um, thoughts and ideas of how to get back to where they want to be. Yeah, Aaliyah Moore going through that right now after suffering a season ending injury. What's your advice to her? Yeah, I mean, I was in the game and I saw it happen. I knew um, that it was her ACL. I just had a feeling, um, you know, going through that. Um, but just looking after her and, you know, I mean, she's been so awesome mm -hmm. through the whole rehab process, so positive and happy. Um, um, and I feel like she's definitely getting through it. 
Is the biggest challenge coming back from an injury like that, is it the physical aspect or the mental? Um, both. I mean, more I feel like the mental side just because you're getting taken out of the game you love so much. Um, something you, you do every single day that makes you happy and just being able to sit on the sideline, you definitely grow. But, you know, it's also super hard. But, you know, I feel like it made me a better player because it made me more hungry, um, made me want to get back on the floor and play. You've been here for a few months now with this team. Who have you become closest with? Who have you formed some nice bonds with? Yeah, um, I feel like I've definitely got close with Taylor Jones. Uh, she was also a transfer. Um, we've definitely gotten a lot closer. And then I feel like I've you know, made great relationships with all the girls on the team on and off the floor. I feel like that's super important. Um, being a team, you got to have that chemistry, you know, so. Has it taken a while to adjust with so many new players on the team? You're one of a number of transfers. Yeah, I mean, like half of our team is new. So we're all, you know, trying to gel with each other, you know, get comfortable with each other on and off the floor. And I feel like we've done a really good job at that. Well, it's been great having you here in Austin. Good luck tomorrow night. Big matchup Thank against you. the Sooners. Mm -hmm. And thanks again, Shaylee. Yeah, thanks for having me.